Hey everybody, I hope everyone had a great 4th of July holiday yesterday. I'm going to show you how you can take your firework photos and enhance them and edit them inside of On One Photo Raw 2018. So if you have your firework photo like I do here, I went down to the waterfront last night in Portland, Oregon and shot a 30 second long exposure of sort of the grand finale of the firework show. So I have my photo here and I was down on the bank near a bunch of people and so there's kind of a few silhouettes at the bottom of my photo, which is no problem because I can simply go to my crop tool and I'll hold down the shift key and I'll just pull it down and then drag it up to sort of get rid of the majority of those people. And don't worry about getting it perfect because we can always use local adjustments and maybe even a vignette to get these people out of there later on in this video. So I'm just going to hit enter now that I have my photo cropped, what I want to do now is I want to head over to the tone and color pane and add some basic adjustments to set the overall tonality for my firework photo. There's not a whole lot of adjustments that I want to make to this photo because I feel like in camera it sort of took the exposure that I wanted, but I do want to enhance it just a tad to make those colors pop a bit more and then separate the explosions from the background. So how we're going to do that is we're going to add some contrast. So I'm going to pull up on the contrast slider here and you'll see the more that I pull up on it, it separates those colors from the background. So that looks good right about there. And now what I want to do is I'm just going to boost the midtones a tad and also the shadows. Now, because there's not a whole lot of true black in this area, I know it looks like this whole background is black. There's not really any in there. So let's add just a little bit of true black. I'm going to hold down on my J key so I can see all of the true white, which is this red here, and then the true black in my photo, which will be blue. So if I pull down on the black slider, I'm gonna add just a tad bit of true black in there, right about there, just to keep some contrast between this area here and the explosions. I think that looks pretty good as far as the tone for the photo. Now I'm just going to increase the temperature a little to bring back some of that bright color in those explosions right about there. So now if I hit the backslash key on my keyboard, you'll see that we didn't do a whole lot to our photo, but it did do a bunch to separate these explosions from the background and then bring back some of the colors in those trails of light. So now what I wanna do to my photo is I just wanna make these light trails sort of pop out a bit more with detail. And I also wanna remove some of these silhouettes from the bottom of my photo. So I'm going to head to effects and I'm going to add a filter, and I'm going to add dynamic contrast. And you'll see that once I add dynamic contrast, it adds a bunch of micro detail into my photo. Now that's fine, and I do like all of the detail that it's applying, but I don't want it to be applied to the entire photo. I only want it to be applied to the bright areas where the light trails are. So to achieve that, I'm going to go into my masking options, and I'm going to choose luminosity mask. And if I view this mask, what the luminosity mask is doing is it's masking out the darker areas of my photo and revealing the brighter areas of my photo for the mask. The white areas in this photo are the areas in the photo that you can see the dynamic contrast applied to. If I invert this, it's the opposite. So let's invert it again and keep it the way it is because that's what we want. We want all of the dynamic contrast to be applied to the fireworks. Now if I go back and view the image itself, if I turn this dynamic contrast on and off, you'll see that it does a ton to bring back some of the detail in these explosions here without applying any of the detail to the darker areas of my photo. So now what I wanna do is I wanna get rid of these people down here. And an easy way to do that is to use a vignette. So I'm going to add a filter and I'm going to add a vignette. And I'm going to select Big Softy. And you'll notice that it's sort of darkens this area up here, which is fine. I only really want it to darken this area down here. And so let's go back into these masking options here. And I'm going to grab my masking brush, which it's already selected. And I'm going to make sure it's selected to paint out. And I'm just going to increase the size and just mask out the top part of the vignette. So it's only applied to this area down here. Okay, perfect. And now what we can do is we can increase the size of it. 
that looks pretty good right there. I'm going to leave it how it is. You can see a little bit of this guy's ear right here, but that's fine. I'm sure people aren't going to notice. So that's how to edit a firework photo quickly using On One Photo Raw. Now that you have these settings applied, what you can do is you can copy them or pull up your film strip view mode and say you have a group of other firework photos that you want to edit at the same time, you can simply click on those photos and let's sync these settings we've already applied and it'll apply them to each of those firework photos. So now if I browse through these, you'll see that it applied those filters and effects to each of those firework photos and really enhance them. Those are your basic tools for editing firework photos instead of On One Photo Raw 2018. I hope everyone had an awesome 4th of July holiday yesterday. I'm Dylan with On One. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more.